name is Grace Wanyura, and welcome to Horse Pro, the channel dedicated to empowering the amateur horse enthusiast and supporting the budding professional. Before we get on to today's topic, I would invite you to hit the like icon and the subscription button to become a member of our community if you find any of today's content to be of value or you like any of the videos on this series. Also, if you want to be notified of any upcoming videos, new videos that are presented, please hit the notification bell. So today we're talking about a few techniques to help to learn to two-point properly. In our riding careers, most of us when we begin at a riding school will learn the walk, the rising trot, the sitting trot, the two-point trot, and then of course move on to the canter. Now the two-point trot refers to your two legs as the source of engagement of the horse's hind end. So your seat is not in the saddle. Basically, many people today teach this a little bit without giving all the information to the riders. They get the riders to push their hands forward, bend at the hip and bend their knees, but they get the rider to throw the shoulder forward. Actually, the correct two point has to do with the hip angle, not the amount of shoulder that goes forward, but the amount of correct bend in the hip because the hip is our hinge for when we're jumping. And of course, we adopt the two point over the fence when we're jumping. However, I would like to note that even for people who don't wish to jump, practicing the two point is an excellent way to help get ourselves, our weight distributed evenly in the saddle and to get our heels down. And certainly when we're learning to ride, when our legs need to be the primary focus because we teach horses, correctly train them back to front. We teach riders correctly to ride from the legs up. So when you're first learning, it's very important to keep your weight in your heels. At any point, if you need a, 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 a spruce up on weight distribution, the two point is excellent. And of course, when you want to jump or want to learn to jump, managing a correct two point so that your balance uh, is correctly sitting on top of the horse rather than shifting about and your heels are your lowest point on your body frame to help keep that balance from shifting about. It is absolutely imperative that we know how to two point properly. And it is a, a something that does take a good instructor quite a lot of visual time and a lot of correction to riders in order to get their hands correctly pressing down into the neck rather than hovering on the side because again we're working our riders from the bottom to the top so we want to set those hands so today's video tutorial shows you the exact steps our body needs to take in order to correctly perform a two-point and we go over it a few times and a few times in slow motion so that you can correctly see the angle of the hip because again our shoulder simply goes forward because our hip and our seat come slightly back and that's what I'm trying to drive home today because this will help everyone feel maybe a little bit more secure in their jumping position. I hope you enjoy today's video. Here we see an example of what a correct rising trot to two-point trot transition should look like for the novice and intermediate rider and what it should look like from two-point back to rising trot. Note how the hands move forward while the hip bends and the seat then puts weight into the rider's heels and not toes. The rider's seat should angle slightly towards the back of the saddle, thereby putting their weight directly down the back of their calf and into their heel.
Here are those exact steps done at a standstill in the exact order as described in the slide previously to help you understand the transitioning. Once more, eyes up, push your hands forward, press your hips back, push weight into your hands and heels. In order to come back, shoulders back, heels down, hands back last. A rider should press their upper body weight into the horse's neck and hold the mane in an effort to help keep their seat slightly elevated out of the saddle while they bend at the hips and push weight into their heel. As you see here, when the hands do not press weight into the horse's neck or hold the mane, the lower back stiffens, the knees pinch, weakening the leg position, causing a wobble. Without the correct weight placement onto the horse's neck through the hands, the lower leg cannot be held secure, the knee pinches, the back stiffens, the balance is gone. Harping I know, but again, please bear witness to the damaging effects to a rider's balance and the security of their control over the horse when there is an incorrect hand placement and weight placement onto the horse's neck. Another look at a correct and safe method in which to learn or teach a two-point position from the rising trot back into the rising trot.